Hey guys, Matt with Murphy Mobile Homes. Today we're going to take a look at the Rawhide by Capco. 28 by 60, 3 bed, 2 bath. This is actually the first double wide I ever sold. Well, this layout, this house, sold this house probably about 100 times since. Actually, I even sold this display model. Of course, it's still available. Congratulations, Miss Turner. Take a look inside. This is going to have your rustic kind of country feel. He said three bed, two bath, Capco. Capcos are fully custom, just like the stagecoach video yesterday. These houses are pretty cool. This one has the, uh, like I said, the rough cut trim package. That stained one by fours for your crown and baseboards. Wood burning fireplace. Plenty of uh, shelving for photos and a little decoratives. And it does plumb for uh, a cable and an outlet. And it's framed back there. It's 16 on centers, 2-inch facing. So you can mount your TV. You probably fit about 65, 70 inch up there. Pretty good living space in here. A lot of natural lighting. I do have the lights on, but not really doing much. It's pretty early in the day. It's really sunny out. Look at this kitchen. This is big hit of this house between this and the closet two really good features cap because you always have an option to throw in a sliding door or chateau door in the place of your uh, windows here off the dining room but this one has back door right off the utility room there so you may want to keep the windows let's get a good look at this kitchen you can always upgrade to a farm sink costs about 300 bucks but looks good too These cabinets are called Prairie Rustic Color. Really go well with the trim package in this house. Big island here. This one comes standard with the smooth top stove. Nice country vent over it. Give you a little look in the cabinets here. Plenty of room. You have the 38 inch cabinets in these. Backsplash there. Take a look at this pantry. These barn doors are an option on any of the Capcos. Solid wood. Really good size pantry. Plenty of shelves, plenty of room. You can walk in, keep all your groceries in here. You even have storage around your fridge as well, though. This one, I know a lot of people like the built-in microwaves. This one doesn't come standard with one, but you can always add one. You can turn this into a cabinet stack and build in a microwave, or you may just want to keep it there. You can always put a microwave even in your islands. A little lower to reach. Take a look at the utility room over here. Pretty good size. The biggest thing people always want somewhere to put a deep freeze, and this one's got that. Some shelving above, three wash and dryer. You could easily put a deep freeze over there. Water heater and furnace access. And then your rear door here. Back, back of the yard. That's a free house right there if anybody wants a free house. All you have to do is come pick it up. We got the title for you. We'll sign it over in a heartbeat. All right, move on to the guest side of the house. It's a two-bathroom house, so there's one bathroom over here by the bedrooms. Bedrooms are pretty good size. This house is about 1550 on your square footage. And these, is, I mean, they even have pretty good closets, too. A little deceiving. Look small, but... Actually, really big closets. And this is 28 wide. You can even go to a 32 wide if you don't want to change it up too much. Just make everything a little bit larger. It's about $5,000 to go from a 28 to a 32 wide. And then about $1,500 a foot if you want to extend it out. So this one's 60 foot long. You can go up to 82 foot long. Good size closet, even has a light in the closet. 
Not many guest closets have that. Goodness. This is a big closet. I forget how big this closet is. I don't take a look at the closets too often. I'm showing houses. I'm more of a let you walk around type of salesperson. You got storage here off the living room towards the bathroom. Keep your linens and blankets and stuff in. And then one piece fiberglass tub shower combo in the guest. Porcelain sinks and toilets, of course. Got your mirror there. That's me. Transom window. You have a vent fan up there. Now this house we did tile in the common areas and left the carpet in the bedrooms. The cool thing about Capco whenever they do tile is there's no seam on your floor where your marriage line is. It goes straight over the marriage line and you don't have to worry about it. It's a big feature. It does cost extra if you do want to go tile in like your bedrooms. It's usually about oh about nine hundred thousand dollars a room to do tile because it is individual laid. But it does look good. Some people like the carpet in the bedrooms. This is your master bedroom here. Really good size. Got two windows here out the front. This one has an accent wall in it. I apologize about the smoke detectors. I know that's pretty annoying, but it take me forever to go through all my houses and take out the batteries for all those things and then put them back in. So please bear with me here. Good size. All right, we'll move on to the master bathroom. It's got a big tub. Nice windows, your front and your side here. Double vanity, got your drawers in between, mirrors are cased out. There's a toilet over here. This one has a 40 in, 48 inch, excuse me, fiberglass shower. You can get larger showers if you like. This is 60 or 72 inch fiberglass shower in these. You can even change out your shower head. Now, here is the master closet. Really neat. Master closet. You got double book casings here, or cabinet stacks here. Sorry. There is a big fluorescent light in here. <laughs> And you also have that transom window there for some natural lighting. More shelving over here. This is the Innovative Closet Systems by Capco's. What this kind of the way they have the wood trim and the wood paneling. Man, this is a ton of space in here. All right, we'll make our way back up to the living room area. So I know everybody's gonna wanna know about pricing. Now, I'm in Bossier City, Louisiana, Northwest Bossier City, Louisiana. And if you buy this house from me and you live or it's being delivered within 150 miles, you are looking at 94,000. And what that includes is your delivery, your blocking, your tie downs, your AC, this will have a three ton AC unit, and then your vinyl skirting. Now we can do dirt pads, we can do concrete runners, they're not required, but dirt pads are required. We can also do septic tanks and electric poles and wells and fences and garages and carports, culverts, driveways i don't know if i said that or not decks i know a lot of people like to do really big decks covered gabled do it all um depending on where you're at you know we have our own contractors around here but 
if you're in Indiana or Missouri or I know I get a lot of people from North Carolina, if you're in those areas, then I would I would do the work and research some contractors in your area. Or if you have preferred contractors to use, we don't mind. As long as they're licensed and insured, we can use just about anybody. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. This is the Rawhide. And be sure to like and subscribe. Share with your friends. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you.